Hi, angels. I am Heather Buzzard of Buzzard's Corner of Love. Think outside the box. Angels, you can always go to our website, buzzardscorner.com, B-U-Z-Z-A-R-D-S-K-O-R-N-E-R, buzzardscorner with K.com. Sign up for our monthly email. That's free. You'll get support in that manner. Angels, you can download our latest ebook, Eight Easy Steps to Improve Your Life Now. You can pick up our other book, Five Pillars for Life or Death. What are you choosing? Which is available at lulu.com. You can follow us on all the social sites. As well as listen to us on Blog Talk Radio on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Blogtalkradio.com slash Buzzards Corner of Love. I am going to be speaking about <clears throat> thinking outside the box. And I thought I created this video show for you. Yet in truth, angels, as always, I created it for myself. Now, those of you who have been following Buzzards Corner of Love know that I am an adoptive child. And for those of you that don't know, I was adopted at birth in a Caucasian, into a Caucasian family and was raised in that Caucasian family. And as I was growing up, I always said that I was going to find my birth parents. I was going to find out who I was, where I came from, what happened. And I did. At 28, I, God gave me the blessing to meet. Not, and it wasn't just only my birth mother that I met at 28. Yet I also had the ability to meet and establish a relationship with my birth father as well, as they had promised at 17 and 15 that they would meet me together. And 28 years later, angels, that's exactly what they did. They met me together. Yet, I will tell you, on my journey of spirituality, I've come to realize that I was born into an energy. I was born with the energy of a problem and shame. And when a child is in a mother's womb, that child is able to pick up and hear and receives everything from the mother. Now, I don't have children, so I wasn't aware of that. And because that is so, I picked up and believed all of what my mother was being told back in 1970. They had to get rid of the problem that, you know, she should be ashamed. They uh, covered her stomach when she went out in public. My grandparents would take her miles and miles away from the town so that they wouldn't know who she was. And all of that energy poured onto me, angels. And through my life, as I was, you know, like I said, adopted into a Caucasian family, uh, I thought it was belligerency. I thought it was not knowing who I was. Um, I defied and bucked everything. Authority figures, school figures, teachers, everything you could possibly imagine. There was a problem. Up until just recently, I've carried that energy of a problem. And it really hit me, and I cried. I cried because it hurt. And I cried, and I cried, and I cried. Yet, in truth, angels, I know that I'm never a problem and that there's nothing shameful about me. I am a child of God. I am love and have always been love. Yet my journey in the world of illusion took me through the paces and spaces saying that I wasn't. And oh, what a journey it's been, angels. And on my birthday, the 26th of this month, I'm giving myself the gift of being hypnotized and giving myself the gift to rewrite my subconscious. You can't go back in the past. You can't change the past. Yet you can create and choose something different as you move forward. And God has given me the opportunity to be hypnotized and to rewrite my subconsciousness of what I'm choosing, which is love, light, peace, joy, accept, acceptance, etc., so on. And this isn't going to happen overnight. This is going to be a three-month journey, but I'd like to take you with me. So stay tuned to right here to Buzzer's Corner of Love, Think Outside the Box, and journey with me as I move through this hypno hypnotizing space and it brings up the subconscious, because I'm sure there's a lot down there that I still am unaware of. And as I share this with you, look at your own life. Ask yourself those questions to yourself and see where the energy that you were born in, are you still in that energy or have you chosen to change it? A lot of babies are born with love and expectancy and joy. Great. And there's a lot of children out there who aren't. And let me just say this, angels, adoptive children, foster children, 
are born in that energy of what was wrong with me? What did I do? How come nobody could love me? Yet I know that I am here. Buzzard's Corner of Love is here to stand as, as an example that even though you may have those feelings and go through those spaces and places, if you're willing to feel the pain, if you're willing to develop a relationship with God, if you're willing to be honest with yourself, you can change it. And the second half of my life, angels, will be different than the first half of my life because I'm choosing to create and write what is best for Heather. Taking a deep breath. <sighs> Taking another. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Thank you, God. Thank you for this day, this space, and this opportunity that we all have to come together to remember who and whose we are in truth, God, knowing that there's only one power, one presence active in our life, God, and in this world. That is the all-loving goodness of you. Spirit, we say thank you for our willingness to allow ourselves to understand and comprehend and to know what energy we have been born into and what energy are we choosing to carry and create from from this point forward we say thank you god knowing that we can choose the energy of light love joy peace understanding compassion upliftment integrity examples all good energy we understand that we can choose that god as we become more and more conscious of our relationship with you spirit knowing that there's only one power one presence active in our life god and in this world and that is the all loving goodness of you. We say thank you to our angels, to our guides, to all of those who have gone before us and made our way straight and perfect. God, we say thank you that all that we desire is already here and all we need to do is wake up, become aware and in alignment with it. Release these words into the universe knowing all is perfect, all complete. And together angels, we simply say, and so it is. Amen. So join me on this journey, angels. This three-month journey of being hypnotized. I don't know what will come up from my subconscious, yet I will share it with you. I don't know what will occur as I move forward in life, yet I will share that with you as well. Yet I do know that once you pull the root of something everything around it dies. So I know I will be a different woman. So thank you for journeying with me here at Buzzard's Corner of Love. Think outside the box because we truly will be thinking outside the box. Angels, you can always go to buzzardscorner.com, B-U-Z-Z-A-R-D-S-K-O-R-N-E-R, buzzardscornerwithk.com. Sign up for our monthly email, angels. Pick up a life coaching package if you'd like. You can always follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, along with all other social sites. Angels, go to our YouTube channel, buzzardscorner.com slash YouTube. Like, subscribe to our page. Check out our videos over there. We have so many inspirational videos over there for you. So like and subscribe to our channel as well, angels. That and so much more is available at buzzardscorner.com. Join us on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific. 7 p.m. Eastern Time, blogtalkradio.com slash buzzards corner of love. So in the meantime and in between time, as we think outside the box, angels, we will see you next time. I am Heather Buzzard, a buzzards corner of love. Think outside the box.